Hello everyone, my name is Barb Coleman. Welcome to KWT's Excel training. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the print options that are available to you within Excel. While printing seems pretty straightforward, it can be challenging when you have large quantities of data. So many, many columns or many, many rows, you need to be able to format that data appropriately so that you can get some legible hard copy printouts. Uh, there's also a requirement sometimes to print only a portion of a worksheet, and there's a very simple way for you to be able to do that, which we'll show you. So you may have a pivot chart or a pivot table within your spreadsheet that you want to print, and you don't necessarily want all of the data that goes with it. So you can use print selection to do that. Or if you have many, many rows, many columns, there's scaling, orientation, different ways for you to fit that data to the pages so that your printout is useful to you once you get it in hard copy. So some of the options that we'll be looking at, um, there's scaling, which is the fit. So how big your data will appear on the page and you wanna make sure it's not too small so that you can't read it. Um, but that it fits in a way that is logical um, from page to page. Your orientation, so we can look at landscape or portrait. You can adjust your margins, gives you a little bit more space to put the data if you need it. And then of course you can do page selection, print selection, or active selection um, to make sure that you're choosing exactly what it is you want to print. There is also a preview screen and you want to make use of that to make sure that you have it formatted the way you want before you actually print it so you're not wasting paper. So here I have a worksheet with a number of columns and many, many pages of rows of data. And it may be that I need to get all of this data into a printout to hand to somebody. And I want to make sure it's legible and then it's logically easy to read. So we'll go to File and Print and see what options we have available. And the first thing to note is here's your preview window. So it shows me the default values that have been applied to this printout. But you can see I only have the first four columns on this page. What happened to the rest of my columns? Well, down here, it says that I have 42 pages of data and I can scroll through this. So you can see the first number of pages, it's scrolling down through the rows. But here, all of a sudden, I'm starting to see the next few columns. And again, that's not exactly making a legible report that you could hand to somebody. Um, it's very hard to determine where the columns are if they're separated over separate pages. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the scaling feature. So no scaling means that Excel picks a standard font size and spreads the columns and the rows out over multiple pages. But if we change that to either fit all columns on one page or fit all rows on one page, and it depends on your data which one of these makes the most sense. In this case, I have um, about eight columns and many hundreds of rows, so I might try fitting all columns onto one page. So what that does is make sure that all of my columns, and I'll just go back to page one because that's where the headers are. I have all of my columns across and then the rows are spread across multiple pages. It's not bad, but it, that font is pretty small. So I may want to change my orientation from portrait to landscape. And if I do that, I still have all my columns on one page because I've kept the fit all columns on one page. And now my font size is bigger because it has more room to spread the fields out. And now when I scroll down, I can see the many rows showing on each page, but all of the columns appear on each page. That's probably a good set of parameters to print this particular data. Now, there is another option here under fit, where it says fit the whole worksheet onto one page. This is useful if you have um, some kind of summarized table that maybe 
by default spreads over more than one page, but you want to fit it to a single page. But if I try to do that with this data, it shrinks it all down to a single page, but the font is so small that it's useless. There is no point in trying to print this off because you'll never be able to read the data. So in this case, it would be fit all columns on one page and we go with landscape orientation and that gives me a pretty good legible uh, printout. Now, I could adjust my margins to give myself a little bit more um, space. So we could go to narrow margins and that would spread things out a little bit. Um, or if you wanted more space, we could go wide, which brings things together. But you'll notice as you make your margins wider, your font size gets smaller and you want to make sure that your data is legible when you actually print it. But that is another thing that you can consider doing. Certainly, if you have the uh, ability to print to different size paper, sometimes going to an 8.5 by 14, either landscape or portrait, will make um, sense for your data. Uh, and again, your preview will show you what that will look like. So if I go to 8.5 by 14, you can see the difference that it would make. If I change that to portrait, there's only six pages of data, whereas if I go back to eight and a half by 11, I need seven pages. So you get that feedback as you play around with the different options here. So let's go back and take a look at, uh, let's say I have a number of tables and, and charts that I want to print. And maybe I have a number of pivot tables on one worksheet. So if I just do file print here, it's going to attempt to print everything. And if I scroll through, there's the big table that I have, and then it will print the little table. Now, if I only wanted the little table, I could certainly come here and then just print this page. And that would print just that one pivot table for me. But another way to do that, if we go back to our worksheet, I can select the section that I want to print. And now when I do file print, and if I just change that to be print selection instead of active sheet, it automatically reduces it down to just that one table. And that works with anything. So if I go back here, maybe I just want to print this one portion of this table. If we go to file and print and print selection, that's all that is selected for printing. So with print selection, you can be very specific about what you want to print. I can even go back to my specific data and say, I only want to print these five columns and these 10 rows. And when I go to file print with print selection, that's all that is selected. Now you will notice that all of the selections I've made here are held for the next time I come in to print. So if you ever want to go back to your original defaults, you will want to reset all of these options back. So it's important to keep an eye on these. If you've changed these, you will want to change them back again. And there you can see I've taken that selection of print changed it from portrait to landscape and it makes it a bigger font because it has more room to put the data in and that makes it more legible so you definitely want to play around with all of these make sure you are seeing in here what you want to see and make sure that it's legible for you certainly excel print has all the usual options you can print multiple copies you can select which printer you want to print to depending on your printer you will have different print properties those are things that are all standard print options within any application uh, but what i'm showing you here are the ways that you can specifically format your excel data to get the printout and get the hard copy that you really want so there you go. I hope that's helpful to you when trying to print out your data from Excel and to ensure that you can get exactly the hard copy that you want. Thank you. That concludes this lesson.